So, people want to have kids. People want to bring kids into this so-called gifted world. Why? Like, I always stop and say to myself, why do people want to have kids? What's the real reason? You know, what's the real reason? What, like, like, what do you see so gifted here or magical here that you would actually want to bring another soul into this bullshit? I don't see anything, man. I just don't see it. I see it as selfishness. Now, again, with all that being said, if you're a parent, I'm not basically trying to say F you to you, you know, even though it may sound that way, I'm not, but really I do say to myself, what was the point of bringing a child here? You know, what, what, why, <laughs> why do that? Like, what, what is the point in that? I could tell you pretty much why, because parents just want to brag. They want their kids to go to school, get a job, go to college, and then they can tell other people, yeah, my son's doing this, my daughter's doing that, or whatever. Whether your daughter or son likes it or not, who cares? I like it, so he's making me proud, or whatever. But it just goes in deeper than that, too. Like, I just say to myself, why do you want to have a kid? Like, me, I can't understand why. Like, I, I don't want no kids. And there'll be some people that'll probably say to me, man, what the hell's the matter with you? You don't want to have kids. What, are you going to be alone? And eh. I just don't feel it's necessary to bring another poor soul into this world. It's just life is so fucked up. And yet people just keep reproducing. I mean, it's just a mess. It's a mess. We keep creating more and more of a mess. We're prolonging this mess. We're literally... This mess could literally come to an end if we were smart. We could end this shit, but we're just so stupid and we keep reproducing and we keep fueling the wheel. I just don't see the point of it. I mean, the real reason is because parents are selfish. One day they feel they're going to get old, elderly, sick or whatever, then that's when their son or daughter could possibly be their caregiver, literally. So it's like selfish. So you just put, you literally, all I see by having kids, you just... You're literally putting all the problems you have or just the problems in general that life offers and you're just giving it to that new born soul. I just... I don't see what's the point of it. I don't see the beauty of it. People are so, like, happy when a kid's born and I don't wish nothing bad on the kid. Like, you know, I don't wish the kid unhealthy or die or anything like that. But I, when I see a child born, I say to myself... There goes another poor soul in this bullshit. That's literally what I say. I don't look at it as a beautiful thing. I don't. I'm not trying to sound cruel or negative. You know, it's not that I don't like kids or anything in that way, but I just feel it's screwed up bringing a poor soul into this complete bullshit of life. Call me what you want to call me, but that's just my opinion, you know? Whether people want to agree or disagree, you know, you have the right to do whichever, but that's just how I feel. Yeah, but, um... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, like, what, what's the purpose in bringing another poor soul in here? Life's getting expensive, we got inflation going on, we got this going on, mass shootings every other day, people more crazier than ever before, so what are you going to bring a child here? What do you think good is going to happen by bringing a kid here? I just don't get people, bro, I, I, don't, I, I don't get people, man. I mean, I just can't believe how stupid we are. You'll, you'll get some stupid people that'll be like, it's cruel not to have children. Because they'll say something stupid, like you just have them swimming around in your, you know, in your nuts, <laughs> you know. But truth is, when something is non-existence, it doesn't feel anything. It doesn't feel pain. It doesn't have thoughts. It doesn't have consciousness. Nothing. So... Really, there's nothing cruel about that. I find it cruel bringing a, a child here and then telling him or her what he or she's got to do with her, his or her life. Whether he or she wants to or not, they're forced to. You force them into doing things they don't want to do. Now that's selfish. Bringing them in the world where it's all a bunch of chaos, murders, crimes, everything costing the stupid rectangular piece of paper. Now, I find that cruel bringing a child here. And especially where I find the most selfish of all is when you're financially unstable and you know that you're, you know, like, unfortunately, you're you're suffering poverty. And yet, yeah, let's have a kid. So now put that headache on the poor kid now, on a poor innocent soul that had nothing to do with this. And now it's just, here I am. Whoa. Hey, hey, Junior. Uh, 
yeah, mommy and daddy don't have a lot of money, so you can't have nice things. Uh, but uh, here, I want a piece of gum. That's not too expensive. Thanks, dad. Well, like, fuck you, dad. Why'd you bring me here? <laughs> I mean, just in general, but... I mean, it's just, no matter how bad a circumstance is, people just don't think. People have no common sense. They just keep bringing kids here without any, like, thoughts, any questions, like, without, like you know, like, going through things, seeing, like, is it really worth doing it? To them, it is. I mean, I just, I don't get it. I don't get people, man. I mean, I just, I don't get my own kind, meaning humans. I, I just don't get a, each, I don't get us, man. And what else is crazy is, parents that have kids and then now they feel they can't take care of the kid or whatever the hell so they put them up for adoption and then the poor kid's gotta you know find a different not real father and a not real mother to possibly adopt and take care of him or her meanwhile it's your responsibility you did it and now you want nothing to do with that kid so like that's why i say we don't think if we if that's what's gonna happen why did you have a kid in the first place that's the thing we don't think of the whole picture you know, now, I'm not saying adopting adoption is wrong or anything like that. I mean, you know, there's people that always, you know, that are willing to take care of kids and good for those people. Right. You know, I'm not saying nothing bad on that, but I'm blaming the parents in ways because they don't handle the responsibilities. They know they're on. They, they know they're not doing well financially, let's just say. Yet let's have a kid. Or you got things going on in your life where you're busy or whatever. And having a kid, you, you got to put work into having a kid. You got to raise them. You got to, you know, feed them. You got to change his little diaper, riper. You got to clean his poo-poo, you know. <laughs> and people just slack to realize the responsibilities until it's too late. Once the child is here with us, then that's where it hits you all at once. You're like, oh, shit, what have I done? Too late now, you know. And it's not fair for the kid. It's the thing. We just don't fucking think, man. It's like when you're updating, uh, like, when you're updating your phone, let's say an iPhone or whatever, and, and it says a software update, and do you agree to the terms? None of us even read what the terms say. We just hit with no hesitation, agree, accept. And I'm not going to lie, I'm an idiot and do, does that too because the words are so damn long, like, all right, whatever. <laughs> but with that being said, that's basically what we do. We don't read the whole, you know, responsibilities that is needed when having a kid. We just, uh, Okay, except I'm going to plug it in. <clears throat> no, no, Yeah, 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 except I read the terms. Yeah, meanwhile, I didn't really read the terms. I just put the check, whatever, boom. Now, this poor child's got to suffer in this fucking bullshit. We don't think about the harshness that's going on. We don't think about how life is just getting worse. And I mean, it literally, every day, it's getting worse and worse and worse. It literally just gets worse and worse and worse. You know what? New Year's, there is a difference in New Year's. Not a good, new, not a good, uh, you know... Not a good thing happening there. Nothing changes for the better. It's for the worse. So yeah, there is a difference when the ball drops. It's a negative difference. And yeah, I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just describing that every time the ball drops, actually something more negative occurs. When we're supposedly thinking something positive is going to happen, it's a whole new year. And you want to know what else is funny with that being said, you know how when it's, you know, almost New Year's, how we all say, I'm going to plan on doing this, I'm going to plan on doing that. And as soon as the New Year starts... We just fade out. We're just like, all right, yeah, it's another day. Then we realize you know, how stupid like that it is just another day. But then when the same thing happens again. Oh, next year I'm going to start doing this. And then the New Year's comes and we're just like, I don't know, man. People, it's just crazy, man. I mean, I just, I had enough of this shit. I had enough of it. I just wish in the worst way this shit would just come to an end. Come on, China, send more spy balloons, magic. <laughs> uh, send something more destructive something that could just wipe us all out send a euthanasia balloon <laughs> a euthanasia balloon shooting euthanasia mist in the air dead <laughs> little joke but uh yeah i mean it's just it's just it's a complete prison planet man and to bring kids into this life it's just i, I find it selfish you know you could agree with me you could disagree with me you know it's totally up to you but i'm just saying for what it is deep down i know what i'm saying at least 99 percent of it <laughs> but yeah i mean it's just i don't know what people see in this shit it's fucking crazy just bringing another kid here just to go to work go to school i mean th this is the whole meaning of life this is the this is the big dream this is the meaning of life i want to you know 
Oh, I bust my ass all my years. Oh, you know what? I want to have a kid. I want him to go through what I went through now. I want to have a son or daughter, and I want him or her to go through all this bullshit too. And then I hope maybe my son or daughter will want to have a, a kid too and make it. I mean, this is all we're having kids to do. This is all we're having. We're just refueling. We're just we're just continuously refueling the system. Excuse me, <laughs> I burped. But uh, yeah. I mean, that's all we're fucking doing. We're just refueling the fucking system. That's all we're doing by having kids. Let the system crash. The system doesn't care about us. The system is draining us. The system is wiping us to an early grave. So why have a kid to take our position? And why put that poor kid through this mess? That's the thing I don't understand. I don't think I'll ever understand that because it's just so fucking stupid. I was actually watching Stop Having Kids is the name of the channel where they were, uh, you know, had an anti-natalism sign, if I'm not mistaken. And there's this guy in the car that should be that's saying you should be ashamed of yourself. How many kids you have? And the, the lady was saying, none, I'm an anti-natalist, anti-natalism and all that. So the guy said or whatever, or oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. Shame for yourself for what? What did you, you didn't cause no harm. You didn't cause no harm by not having any kids. You cause harm by having kids. Whatever might happen to that kid, it's your responsibility. So that asshole <laughs> should be ashamed of himself if he even have kids. I don't know if that was his wife in the car or his daughter, but that actually got me inspired to want to make the video about this because it's true. I agree with that channel 100%. I hope, I hope you know, more people keep doing stuff like that, you know? Who knows if it's going to solve anything. You just got too many stupid people, unfortunately, but, you know, what could you do? But the part where it says... You should be ashamed of yourself. For what? What the hell did I do? You can't say I neglect the kid. You can't say I couldn't take care of the kid. I couldn't afford or whatever. So I had to put him up for a dot. I never had a kid. I never went for that responsibility. So there's nothing to be ashamed of. Ashamed of what? Because I ain't bring another life into this bullshit. I should be ashamed of myself for preventing another poor soul to step foot into this crap hole piece of shit world that we want to call earth i should be ashamed of myself <laughs> so be it then all right i'm ashamed of myself if if that's what gets those assholes through the day uh, all right but no my friend nothing to be ashamed of be ashamed if you have a kid and if your kid's struggling or having whatever you know you're just bringing a kid into this bullshit for what and like i said i'm not saying i hate kids i don't hate kids I don't hate kids. I hate the fact that you bring kids into this shithole and these poor kids are clueless of what's really going to happen. They're young right now. They're all, you know, full of joy, excite excitement. You know, they're all happy. Daddy, look at this. Daddy, look. Whatever. It's all like cheesy at the moment. And then when they start hitting a certain age, then, they, I mean, some do, some don't. Some will start seeing, man, this is, this is, this is, this is what, um, looking forward to this is my whole journey this is why i'm going to school this is why i'm doing all these things the one day just be a moron doing this for paper doing i mean some unfortunately stay blind you know maybe sometimes in a sick kind of way it's better being blind because maybe you could just function better but when you just see for what this world is it's literally unbearable it's literally hard to cope with it man because it's just so cruel and harsh and just it's unacceptable man i mean but we should be ashamed of ourselves because we ain't have children. No, buddy, more like the other way around. More like the other way around. <laughs> literally, I mean, that part I had to bite my tongue. I literally had to fucking, like, if I was drinking something, I probably would have fucking spilled it out laughing my ass off of what a fucking asshole that guy is. You should be ashamed of yourself, you fucking jackass. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm just being truthful, man. Who knows if the guy knows my channel, but hey, it's just the truth. But you see, this is just to show you how many stupid people we have walking the face of the earth. And these stupid people is what ruins it for the people like us that actually have a fucking noggin up above and want to actually try to prevent the suffering somehow. But idiots like that, for example, are always the morons that are going to ruin it for us, you know? It's sad. It's sad, it's pathetic, it's just, it's frustrating, all of the above, you know? I mean, it's just, it's crazy, it's crazy shit, man. This is why we keep reproducing. You just can't get a word with those type of people. They're ignorant. They think they know it all. I guess you would say they're a narcissist. 
they think they're right at all times. They don't see anything wrong with how they think or what they talk about or whatever. But us, whew, man, we're, we should be ashamed of ourselves, man. <laughs> it's like, look at it like this. A lot of us have pets. I used to have a pet. I used to have a dog. Fortunately, he passed away from old age. But, uh, you know, let's say you have a dog or a cat and then you just somehow feel you can't take care of it. It's too expensive. And then you just neglect. There's a lot of people that just dump them to the side or go on the road and just leave them. Eh, you should be ashamed of yourself for. If you take the dog back to the, you know, to a, a breeder or some, or some, you know, to wherever you got the dog, then at least you're not just leave. I mean, yeah, you're getting rid of the dog, which is sad, but at least you're not just leaving the dog flat, neglected in the in the streets, possibly going to die because it doesn't know how to survive for itself. It just sits out in the streets, possibly gets run over by a car or who knows what. Then you should be ashamed of yourself in that way. But yeah, I mean, it's just, that's the thing. This is where it all goes back to people just don't think with things. Oh, that dog's so cute. I want him so bad. But are you able to afford to, you know, take care of the dog? And I'm an animal lover. I don't, you know, I love animals. All animals. You know, I wouldn't really want to kill any animal unless... I mean, the only way I would ever hurt an animal is if it was hurting me to the point where it's going to kill me or I kill it. And if I have the opportunity to kill it to save myself, then yeah. But to just kill an innocent animal, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know how people do that. They just have no heart in them and they have no soul. You know, I mean, I mean, if I got to eat, unfortunately, I mean, maybe if I was stranded somewhere and I had no food, then maybe. But if someone said, hey, Justin, shoot this deer or or shoot this, or I'd be like, no, sorry, I'm not going to do it, man. I'm not. I just don't want to be known for it. I don't want to be known to kill things, you know, just, I'm too soft. <laughs> Imagine, but I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I just, I just couldn't do it, man. You know, I couldn't do it. I could probably kill a human being, though. <laughs> An asshole human being. <laughs> just a little joke. I don't want to kill no one, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that got into that, but I got into it. It's like saying now you should be ashamed of yourself because you never got married. You should be ashamed of yourself because you don't have a girlfriend or vice versa. You don't have a boyfriend. You should be ashamed of yourself because you drive a Prius instead of a Lamborghini. You are, you know, I'm just making stupid shit up. That's basically what that's like. Let's see how stupid that all sounds. But that's how stupid that guy sound. You should be ashamed of yourself for not bringing a soul into this world. No, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Now, I would have been ashamed if it was the other way around where the person did bring a kid into the world and was unable to take care of the kid. And now the poor kid's going to have a rough life. And plus, just the kid's going to most likely have a rough life in general just because of what life's all about. And you've seen the hell, you've seen the responsibilities and all the heartache of this bullshit world that we live in. And yet you still went through with having a kid. So yeah, in that way, maybe you should be ashamed of yourself. And again, I'm not trying to put parents down in any way, even though it pretty much... You know, sounds like I am, but, you know, I have nothing against you guys. But at the same time, you might have to be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to call it a day there. Hope I made some valid points in this video. When I seen that, I actually really got motivated to want to make a video about this because I just feel like this message needs to be spread, man. It needs to be spread as much as possible. There's nothing wrong with antinatalism. You're setting kids for, well... You're never having a kid. So yeah, the kid's staying in that nice, blissful state. We were all at a peaceful state at some point until we unfortunately spawned. Once we spawned, now we see this every day. Whoop, got to pay this bill. What about that one? Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, okay, hold on. Ah, oh, got that out of the way. No, you got more. Oh, shit. Why am I born? Oh, I know why I'm born. Because I got to pay bills. I got to work to keep up with the bills. Literally, that's all we do. We're just working to pay bills. We're not working to have money to, to enjoy, do fun things. We're working so we can keep up with the bills. That's all life's about. Paying bills, fees. And you know what? It's such a charming life that I want to bring another kid in here and I don't feel ashamed in any way. Instead, you should feel ashamed if you don't have kids. Yeah, yeah, you should be ashamed if you don't have kids. You should have kids and let them play this fun game too. Go to work so they can keep up with the bills. It's so much fun. Oh man, what a gift. 
Yeah, glasses off. Have a good night, guys. Peace out. <laughs>